Hey guys, well in today's video we're going to be wiring in our foot switch, our low air pressure switch, and our power draw bar. So I made this harness up here. This has our low air pressure, our foot switch, our power draw bar, all in this one harness. And I've went ahead and extended some of these wires. Uh, just a quick tip, uh, when you make your pigtails, make them long enough so that your longest wire will reach wherever you need it to go and then you can trim the other wires back. Unfortunately I didn't foresee this as an issue and I didn't make them long enough so I had to uh, splice in a, a couple of wires here for my power and my common. So first let's wire in our air pressure sensor and our foot switch. So you can see we have our 5 volts that goes to our air pressure switch and then it also jumps over to our foot switch and then the outputs will go back to our C25 XP. So the first thing we need to do is land this uh, 5 volts. Now again this comes from our board source which I have terminated on this terminal block here. So I've got two wires here. One is for the foot switch and the other is for the low air pressure sensor. I've got them tied together and we're going to just bring this over try to get this a little organized if possible here and then we're going to bring this over to our 5 volt from our C25 XP alright Alright, now that we have power going to our switches here, we're going to just wire in these inputs. So our air pressure switch needs to go to input 4. So that's this green wire here. We're going to bring it over and put it on input 4. Okay. And then next we have our foot switch, which is going to go to input five. Okay, so green is input 4 and red, uh, orange is input 5. So next we have two wires remaining for this connector and that is our power draw bar. So we want to send 24 volts out to our power draw bar and that is going to be from our relay here. Now what I did here is I brought power from our 24 volt power supply down to the slide solenoid in the last segment and I also just jumpered it over to the power draw bar. So the 24 volts will feed this relay and this relay like so. I also left a jumper here and just put some heat shrink on here because I may use the jumper beside that later on for the flood coolant but currently I'm going to be using the solid state relay but just in case I went ahead and left that on there so this relay here is for our slide solenoid we have our power coming in and then we've jumpered it over to our second relay here and then now our black wire from our harness is going to go into our normally open side here so when this relay closes it will provide power 
out to the solenoid. So now we have these two hooked up. We can go ahead and plug these in. And then last is our uh, 24 volt common for the solenoid. So this is, uh, we're sending 24 volts out to the solenoid and then we have to have a return back to our tri-power power supply or our 24 volt source. So we're going to bring that over. And we're going to put it on here to our tri-power common. All right. So that pretty much takes care of this harness. We can try to get all this stuff tucked away. But there's one more wire that we need to connect. We've sent 5 volts out to our foot switch and our low air pressure switch. But we need to have a common. And we need to land that on our port 2. So on, on port 2 here, we have two spots here for our common. And since our voltage coming into our inputs are 5 volts from here, we need to land the common from our ground for our 5 volts. Now the nice thing about the C25XP is if I were using 12 volt or 24 volt inputs, then I could do that as well. And that's why we have to land this common for whatever voltage source we're using. In my case, all of my voltage inputs are 5 volts. So I'm going to just stick this common down here. And then we'll run that back over to our terminal block here. Right here. And we can tuck these wires in. Alright, let me get these wires tucked in and we'll do a quick little recap. Alright, so I've got the wires kind of tucked in here best I can for now. And uh, let's just recap what we've done here. So, we installed our foot switch wiring and our air pressure switch wiring. The first thing we did was we brought 5 volts over to these switches from our uh, C25 power source. Remember this terminal block just connects straight to here on the C25. We brought power and landed it here so that we can bring it out to our devices. So we brought our 5 volts out here to each one of these switches and then our input on 4 and 5 we've landed uh, here and here. So we've got input 4 and then input 5. Now we also landed our common. We brought 5 volts to these switches, but we also have to have a common for all of these inputs. Now, all of my inputs are 5 volts, so the common for is from our 5 volt source, our 5 volt source being here, so we're bringing the common uh, from our C25. We've brought it over and we've landed it here on our common terminal. This common terminal and this one is the same for port 2. So this is the common for all of these inputs. So we just brought that from there to there. Next, we connected up our relay for our power draw bar. So we brought uh, our wire over to our power draw bar relay. Remember we had already brought jumpered power over into our relay from our slide relay, which goes back to our tri-power power supply. 
and then our normally open terminal goes out to our power drawbar and then our return from the power drawbar we landed on our tri power common here so that completes that circuit when the relay closes it'll activate the power drawbar solenoid alright guys so in the last segment we wired in our power drawbar relay as well as our foot switch and our low air pressure sensor so next we want to wire up our stack lights we have our red amber and green now the way the stack lights work is you provide 24 volts on one terminal and then your amber red and green will go to the relay and that's just providing the return so our first wire here is our 24 volts this is going to go back to our tri power power supply I've got to get a little creative here with the way I route these wires again make sure you leave plenty of room on your pigtails so that you can route these long wires have to put a little forethought into that so we're just going to land it here on our uh, tri power power supply all right all right so the wire in the stack lights they're wired just a little bit different now that we have our power landed we're going to wire in our returns now the returns are going to be switched with the relays so we're going to go out from our normally open over to each lamp and then we're going to provide on our voltage in we're really just providing a common and the common is going back to our 24 volt tri power power supply so what I've done is I've just made up this little jumper here to go from one relay to the next and this is on the voltage in terminal and then this is going to go over to our tri power ground here and then next we just need to land our returns for each lamp so the first stack light is going to be uh, red which is our red wire here so that goes to our normally open and then we have our amber or yellow is our second relay again it goes to the normally open side of the relay and then last is our green over to the normally open for the third relay here or for fifth relay on the board all right so we just need to plug these in tuck this wire under Make sure we get them plugged in the right spots here. So the first one is red. And yellow. And green. Alright, so that wraps up our stack light wiring. So we brought our power from our tri power power supply over to each lamp. That was that black wire. And then for our normally open, we brought the other side of the lamp into our relay and then we provided a return back to the tri power power supply. Alright guys, well that wraps up this video. If you're new to my channel and you're just tuning in and you'd like to subscribe, click on the button down here below. 
That way when I post a new video, if it's something you're interested in, you can stop by and check it out. As always guys, please feel free to ask questions, make suggestions, or leave comments. Thanks for watching guys, thumbs up if you like the video, please subscribe, and most importantly, be safe.